modify it. Stop, drop it low, but pick it up carefully. Work them glutes like you in physical therapy. Nerves of the thoracic. Okay, so the nerves of the thoracic rise mainly from the anterior rami, uh, which is uh, first to eleven uh, intercostal nerves and twelfth intercostal subcostal nerves, while it's having a branches, which is uh, a collateral branches, lateral cutaneous branch, anterior cutaneous branch, muscular branch, pleural sen sensory branch. And peritoneal sensory branch supply or the thoracic uh, supply has having sensory and motor innervation. The motor innervation is to the muscle of the thoracic region, and sensory uh, uh, innervation is for the parietal pleura and the skin. Nerve originate from the anterior or ventral rami of the spinal nerves, which convert into the intercostal and subcostal nerve. Then it give further branches, uh, which is. T1, T2, T7, T11, which are the atypical nerves, while T3 to T6 are the typical nerves. They are called typical nerves because they directly provide the muscles of the intercostal region. While the atypical, uh, which is uh, T1, T2, uh, 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 they supply peripheries and intercostal uh, area as well. Like uh, T1 and T2 supply to the medial side of the arm. And the chest region and T3 T6, which is which is basically a typical nerve, it supply innervation to the ribs, intercostal muscle, and parietal pleura and skin. While the uh, T7 to T11, a, a typical nerve, they supply uh, innervation to the thoracic cavity and abdominal wall. That uh, that's why it is called as the atypical nerves. Okay, like uh, you can see it here. These are the rootlets, the anterior. Uh, this is the uh, dorsal or posterior rami. This is the anterior rami. Like you can see this ventral or anterior rami. They uh, um, uh, travel to from the uh, intercostal uh, spaces and it supply the lateral branches, the anterior branches, and the dorsal branches of the muscles of the thoracic region. Okay, uh, it travel together with the uh, vessels. That's why we can learn it as a VAN. Uh, we we form the vein A for the artery and N for the nerve. So first uh, superior uh, it is having vein, then uh, intermediate is artery, and then we are uh, having nerve. Like this is this is what uh, I am I was talking about. Okay, this is the uh, intercostal spaces like this. These are the nerves which coming forward, anterior branches and the dorsal branches apply to these muscles. Okay, these are the intercostal nerves like what I told you all. Okay, so this is the skin area which the thoracic nerves supplied. Like you, you can you can see it T two area and T one area. This uh, supply to this these area. And the T3 to T6, which are the typical nerves, they supply only to the thoracic region. That's why it is called as typical. While T7, T8, T9, T11, T12, they supply thoracic cavity as well as lumbar uh, or abdominal wall. That's why they are called as atypical nerves. Sympathetic nervation uh, because uh, they are uh, the area where the uh, thoracosacral plexus uh, or uh, innervation passes through or innervated the various uh, vessels or the uh, organs the so it's having the sympathetic which is the branch of autonomic nervous system so sympathetic nerve originate from the lateral gray horn of the thoracic vertebras while uh, which uh, form the preganglionic white ramus and postganglionic gray ramus its action is to supply the blood vessel and uh, perform vasoconstriction and vasodilation this is the lateral horn where these nerves sympathetic nerves originate